Okay, so again, good afternoon, everyone. So today we are going to discuss the descriptive statistics. Last time we mentioned the uh, two general categories or, or two kinds of statistics. One is descriptive and the second one is inferential. But for today, we are just going to concentrate on the descriptive statistics. Okay, so like what Emmanuel had mentioned, descriptive statistics is more on describe. Okay, more on describe. Okay, describing the number, describing the quantitative, and it summarizes the collected information. Okay, and there are four different types of descriptive statistics. Number one, we have the measure of frequency. Okay, when we say frequency, it's about the counting. Okay, it's about the percent. Okay, and we call it the frequency. Okay, so sometimes it uh it shows okay what when it occurs. Okay, how how many times it occurs. Okay, so use this when you want to show how often a response is given. Okay, how often a response is given. Okay, so this one, how you are going to do it. Kindly, uh, kindly read this one uh, at the end, the step one. Mm. Step, step one, one, make a chart for your, your data. data. For this for example, this example you, have you have been given a list of content types or urgency situations. Okay. So the example is you were given a data or list of 20 blood type, okay, 20 blood type of uh, types for emergency surgery for uh, surgery patients. Okay, so this is what are you going to do? What is our variable? Okay, so this is the blood type. We have blood A, B, A, O, and A, B. Okay, so the first thing is we make a table, okay? And then the second step is we put some, uh, like, you know, uh, stick counting, something like that, stick counting, okay? St stick counting, okay? So how many are A's? So one, two, three, four, five, okay? So we write it here, five. How many are B? One, two, three, four, five. So we also have five here. How many AO, type AO? Okay, so only, oh, sorry, it's only O. Sorry, it's O, O. Okay, it's O. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have type O. A, B. One, two, three, four. Okay, so four. Now we already got the frequency. Okay, so let's move on to the, this is the, the number. Okay, they are being mentioned in a data. That is the frequency. Okay, so now let's proceed with the percentage. Okay. Okay, so. How are we going to do this? So five appears five times, B appears five times, O appears six times, and A B appears four times. Okay, for the for the for the percentage, this is the formula. Okay, very simple. Okay. So how many how many variable? One, two, three, four. Okay. Right? Four. Okay, and then we have the first one is the type A. Type A has five frequency. Okay, so what we're going to do is divide them with the total. This 20 is the, the total population. Okay, the total population. And we multiply it by 100. So five divided by 20 times 100 is equal to 25%. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the answer. So if we uh, divide, uh, this is the same, 6 for this one, 6 divided by 20, then multiply by 100, it is equal to 30% and so on and so forth. So, Professor, how can we describe this? Can you please help me describe this one? Tien, describe the data. What does it mean? It means that which, which, which blood type has the most numbered uh, blood type? Highest number we have? Tien, what is the most numbered blood type? Type what? O. Okay, O. It means that the universal blood, okay, in the patient, okay, uh, the most uh, type of blood that the patient has is type O. That is, we describe the data, okay? So next is, we have... Uh, this one okay so we there are the number two uh kinds or type of descriptive is we call everybody please read everybody please read this is what Measure central okay measures of central tendency. tendency okay so this measures of central tendency has three kinds okay so we have the mean, median, and mode, okay? So it locates the various distribution by points. Professor, when are we going to use this one? We use this when you want to know or to show how an average or most commonly indicated response. So like the video that I had said that you had watch a while ago this is what they get they get the average and they get the most commonly indicated response of the data okay so let's start with um, mean this one is very easy when we say mean we just have to get what the average okay average when we're going to get the average of uh of population we don't know we denote it as a uh, mu population mean but if it is for example our our symbol is x bar okay and for median we get the middle or the 50th percentile okay or the middle value that's why it is mid okay and for the mode this is the most frequently occurring data. Okay, let us start uh, understanding one by one. Okay, this is the mean average. So our example, we have the hourly wages for example of part-time employees at home. Okay, home plus are $12, $20, $16, $18, $19, $12, $16, and another $20. So, these are the hourly wages or salary of employees at home plus. Okay, so how can we get the average? So we just add all of this, okay? This one, total sum, okay? This is the total sum, okay? 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 16, plus 20, plus 16, plus 18, plus 19. And the total is 113 divided by 7. And the mean score or the, the mean, the average mean is 16.14. Clear? Is this clear? The mean is just only the average, okay? The average is very simple okay next let us proceed to the median okay so how are we going to get the median so you get the 
the middle number, but you have to what? Arrange the value from lowest to highest value. Okay, so from 12 up to 20. Okay, so if you could see there are odd numbers or at equal, okay, and even numbers. Let's say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So this one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 numbers, 7 uh, salary or wages. So this is add number. So what you are going to do is just get the middle. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So the middle number is 16. Okay, so this is the average median value of the salary. But if the salary is even, let's say this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we get the two middle number that is 16 and 18. Okay, so if you're going to add the two, 16 plus 2 is 8, is what? What's the score? 16 plus 2. 34. Oh, this one is wrong answer. Okay. 34. Okay. 16 plus 18 is... Uh, 16 plus 18 is 34 divided by 2 is 17. Okay, 17. So the middle number is 17. Clear? Okay, next we have the mode. When we say mode, this is very simple also. You're just going to get the most valued number. Okay, may I ask uh, Eugene? 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 Yes. yes. What is the most numbered value? What is the most numbered? So this one is 2. This one is 2. Only 118, 119, and 120. What is the most numbered value? We have number... 12 and 6, 16. Very good. Number 12 and 16. That is the most number. Okay. 12 and 16. That is what we call mode. Okay. Clear? Okay. So that is our mode. Okay. Next, we have the third uh, types of descriptive statistics is we have dispersion or variation okay so when we say variation is you we, we use this one okay we use this one when we want to show the spread out of the data it is helpful to know when your data are so spread out that it affects the mean okay so we have range we have variance and we have standard Div deviation. Okay, so let us uh, discuss them one by one. Okay, for the range, when we say range, okay, this is the difference between the highest number and its smallest value. This is only an elementary statistics. Okay, okay. So what is the highest value? Okay, uh, Tang Wan Q. What is the highest value? Tangwan, Tangwan Q, are you in there? Tangwan Q. Okay, so they, they are not there. Okay, so the value, the highest ne, value. So say, what is the highest value? It's. Ne, so say, so what is the highest value with this one, the red mark? This is. Yes. $20. $20. Million. Okay, $20. Dollars. Okay, so what 
twelve dollar. Okay, here. Okay, so with the range means it is the difference between highest number and lowest number. So twelve minus twelve is eight. So it means that the range between twelve to twelve to eight to nineteen, nineteen to twenty is eight. That is the average range of the dispersion, okay? That is the distance, okay, between each number, okay? So next, okay, I'm, I have to clear all the drawings, okay? Next, let's move to, uh, this one is what we call uh, variance, okay? Variance, okay? So, when we say variance, this is the average of the squared differences from the mean, okay? So this we have the same example, the hourly wages, okay? So the first thing you have to do is what? Get the mean, okay? So the mean here, since I only have, I use this only five, so 85 divided by five, we have 17 okay so 17 is our weighted mean and next the next thing we have to do is we subtract okay the early rates to the mean so 17 uh 12 dollar minus 17 dollar is equal to negative five dollars 20 dollar minus $17 is $3. $16 minus $17 equal to negative one. $18 minus 17 is $1. And 19 minus 17 is equal to two. Okay, so this is the, the, this is the difference between the early wage and the mean. But it is not yet done. We have to squared. Okay, we have to square so negative five times negative five is this one is positive negative negative is equal to positive 25 then three times three that is squared nine negative one times one is one one times one is one two times two is four and if we are going to add all of them 25 plus 9 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4. Now our variance is 40. Okay, so this is the average of the square differences from the mean. Okay, so that is the variance. Okay. And after that, okay, we could now compute the standard deviation, okay? It's the standard deviation. The formula is this one, okay? The means, this, this is for the sample. Take note, uh, if you are going to, to use a uh, sample, you have to uh, subtract it with one, so n minus one. But, but if, if it is for population, do not subtract, just use five, okay? So the mean, okay, so you have 40 is our variance divided by 5 minus 1, okay, so our answer is $10 squared. So it means that the standard deviation from this number is $10. So that is the difference between the, between the salary of employee A, employee B, employee C, employee D, and employee E, okay? So that is standard deviation. Again, this one is N is for sample, but when I mention it is for population, a whole num whole population, you, you should not use N minus one, okay? So clear. The next is we have the last one, okay, we're going to finish here, okay. The standard, uh, the fourth measure is the measure of position. Well, which position? First, second, third, or which percentage? 
50% of the population, 30% of the population, or quarter percent of the population, or 75% of the population. Okay, so you use this when what? When we need to compare scores to a normalized scores like a national norm, okay? So let's say Korea is the number one uh, number one uh, country in OECD who can produce graduate, okay? Um, who could produce a graduate, okay? So how it is being done, okay? Okay, so this is the percentile. When we say percentile, it is a value which a certain percentage of observations like below, below value. Okay, so let's try. We have the data set. Okay, so the question is, what is the percentile ranking of 10? So this is number 10. So what is the ranking of this? Okay, so these are our uh, number below 10. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there are 16 numbers before 10. Okay, so the formula is the number of values, okay, uh, divided by 100, uh, divided by the total number of sample times 100. Okay, so percentile we have. How many number of values we have? 16, okay, divided by 20. They are all 20. Okay, all of the number 1 up to 12 is, total is 20. And uh, 16 divided by 20 times 100 is 80%. So if we're going to describe the percentile ranking of 10, so it is the is it is in the 80% of the of the sum of the sample size it is in the 80% of the sample size okay take note the position can be described through uh numbers like percentage and it's what okay it's quite uh it's percentile okay or it's, it could be in the 25% or it's first, second, third, so that could be the position, okay? So next we have, okay, quartile. Okay, so when we say quartile, okay, so this is like our, our 100, right, from zero, it is divided into fourth, okay? So we have the 20, 25%, 50%, okay? 75% and the 100%. Okay, so the chart shows the set of four numbers divided into quartiles. So this quartile number one, quartile number two, quartile number three, and quartile number four. Okay, so next. Okay, so let's example we have uh, we have the data set of 2 up to 12. The question is, what value exists in the percentile ranking of that 25%? So we are now looking to the 25%. Which number from 2 to 12 is in the 25% position? Okay, so this is the, the formula. Okay, we have the value is equal to percentile divided by 100 uh, times n plus 1 because we are looking for the sample size here. Okay, so now, so the value let us uh, substitute 25 that because we are looking for the 25th uh, percent. So 25 divided by 100, okay, times 20 plus 1 is equal to 5.25. So there is no 5.25 here, okay? So what is that? So do I take the average of the fifth and sixth? Okay, so what is the fifth and sixth? 
one, two, three, four, five, and six. So five and six. Okay. So what you're going to do is add them and then divide by two. So the 25th position or the 25% of this data set is number five. And that is quartile. Okay. So is everything clear now? Again, let us recap our discussion. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, professor. professor. Yes, any question? Yeah, I have a question. Have a question. Hmm. What about, about here, here if we had five, five and five six. six? Okay, so five, five and the fifth and sixth. The fifth yes, yes. I, I, I mean, I here, mean here, this, this, the, the, the fifth, fifth, one, fifth one, was one was five. five. Yeah. And the sixth, and the sixth one, one is five. Five, five yes. What, so if, what if one of one those, those numbers were, were to, be to be six? Okay, so the same. Five plus six. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, five plus six. Okay. Ah, I get I get your point because the answer will still be five point twenty five, right? Uh, 11. Yes, yes. Okay, so divided by two, so the answer is still five point five. Okay. So it it will be endless. Okay, it will be endless. Okay, so that's why some of the like for example, you know election, you know the election, there are some rules that they are uh, implementing. Okay, so let's say, oh, the winner is the pip and the six. Okay, so we will check who will be the really the, the, the winner. Okay, so it, it is endless. It will still 5.5, right, In Emmanuel? Okay, so what they are going to do is they're just going to make a decision. Sometimes they do toss coins, okay? So this, had you heard about election won by toss coin? Had you heard about uh, it? Uh, okay, so sometimes uh, yeah. they just make the, they just make the, the decision by themselves, okay? It may be for their position. Or sometimes what they are going to do, they're going to get the two numbers, it is the number five and number six. So they are, if, if we are pertaining to the winner, like if there will be a price, okay, so they're going to divide the price into person. You get it? Yes. yes. Well, because we are using quartile for the position. Okay, for the position, which, which is the first, which is the second, which is the 25%, which is the, the 50%, okay? So in this case, it is endless, okay? A very good observation. It is endless. You could get both number, okay? So the 25 percentile ranking is either five or six, okay? And that is the answer because if you're going to get it, it is endless, okay? It oh, yeah, is endless. Yeah. We don't have... 5.5 value, right? We yes, don't have 5.5 yes. value. Okay, so what we are going to do is just that 25% is below, either below uh, 5 or below 6. We have two answers there. The, and this is possible. This is possible. Okay. Correct. Uh, uh, clear, Emmanuel? Uh, yes, yes, Professor. Thank Professor. You. Thank so that's you. a very good question because you know what? In in numbers, there are imperfect, imperfect data, in, uh, imperfect uh, data group. Okay, so what they are doing is they are going to get the either pi below that's twenty five to represent the twenty five percent, or six below to represent the twenty five percent of the data group. Okay. So this is only for sample because we use n value, okay, sample, okay? So, you know, Emmanuel, I simplify the discussion because, you know, the situation now, okay? So because yeah, some yeah. of the students might not understand this in English very well. That's why I only, um, 
I only um, get the uh, the simplified uh, the, the simple method of this uh, uh, descriptive 